let's consider a game of darts. Um, let's say that you, over a period of time, you played darts and you sort of figured that you're, that the probability that you get bullseye is approximately 10% or 0.1. So that is what you will expect when you play a game that you have a 10% chance of getting bullseye. So your probability, the probability of getting a bullseye, let's call it B, equals 0.1. So therefore, since we only have we only have two uh, outcomes to, to discuss here, either you hit bullseye or you miss, then the probability that you miss must be 0.9. Okay, so let's say that you play a series of five games. A series of five games. And um, you would like to find the probability that you get exactly two bullseye in that series of five games. So probability that you get two bullseye in five games. Well, it can look in a, in a lot of different, different ways, but that, those five games it could be that could be that you missed the first one. It could be, and it could be that you hit, hit bullseye in the second one and bullseye in the third one, and you miss the rest of them. So that is one. That's one combination. And uh, what would the, what would the probability be of that? So the probability that you you get this series here would be, well, the probability of getting a miss is 0.9. The thing is, every time you play the game. Uh, the next game is independent of the result from the previous game. We have to bear that in mind. So when we find independent probabilities, we simply multiply the probability together. So, so the probability that you get this series here would be the probability that you miss times the probability that you hit bullseye times the probability that you hit bullseye again times the probability that you miss times the probability that you miss and uh, well you know that that hitting or missing the probability that you miss is 0.9 the probability that you uh, that you hit bullseye is 0.1 and times 0.1 times 0.9 times 0.9 we could simplify this into 0.9 to the power 3 times 0.1 to the power 2. So the probability that you get a series here with two bullseye and three misses would be this. If we uh, type this into a calculator, which you can verify, you get 0 0.007 to nine. Okay, but the thing is, this here was just one combination of games. What if you hit uh, bullseye in the first game and miss the next three and hit bullseye in the last one? Well, so we have to have a tool to keep track of um, all the, the all the ways that this can go. So you, what you could do is you could make yourself a a, a tree diagram where you have bullseye and misses here um, so that could I'm not sure I don't want to do the whole thing here bullseye again miss bullseye miss bullseye miss was that five one two three four ah that was only four so bullseye miss bullseye miss we have to continue this Bullseye miss, bullseye miss, bullseye, etc. You can see this takes quite a while. So the thing is, you could, what you would like to do now was to figure out how many, in how many ways can I have two bullseye 
and three misses. So that could, for example, be bullseye, bullseye, miss, 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 as you say, I'm here. So that was just one. Uh, so you could count it in a, in a tree diagram, but uh, that takes that takes a lot of time. So um, so there's a much easier way to do this um, because the question we actually ask here is in how many ways in how many ways can we take a group of two out of a group of five? So I could write that somewhere here if the pen would work, or I could also go down here. So in, in how many, in how many ways can we take a group of two out of five? So that means in how many, how many branches can we count out with this? with this uh, combination and that is actually what it is it's a combination because we ask actually in how many ways can we take a two group out of a five group and we uh, we've we've uh, learned this as combinations problems so what we are asking is what is the five over two combination and uh, you have a formula for that uh, the formula for for the general formula would be n over r equals n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial it's in the in the in the formula booklet if you need it uh, so in this case it would be 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 factorial uh, obviously there's an easier way to calculate this um, than using using the formula, but uh, if if you were to use the formula, this would be the way to go. You can also find it in uh, the Pascal triangle um, if you were taught how to use that one, or you can use your calculator. Cal using the calculator is probably the easiest. So um, what we do is well, I found it here, but I'll show you. So what you do is you go menu and you go probability. And you go combinations and here you simply type five comma two press enter so the answer is there are 10 ways to take a two group out of a five group so it equals 10. so therefore now that means that every time every time we play a game like this there is 0 0.00729 uh, probability that you hit, hit bullseye exactly twice. And there are 10 ways that the game can fall. So therefore, the probability, the final probability, the probability that you, uh, that you have two bullseyes and three misses, in five games equals uh, 10 times 0 0.00729 and that is 0 0.0729 so that would be the final answer to that so that's the probability what we did was if we talk in general terms what we did was uh, if we say that we have um, n experiments or n, n trials, if you like, that would be that this is the five up here, the five trials, and we are asking for a number of successes. In this case, we, let's say our successes. That was two. That was two successes in our experiment here. Then we can say that the probability that we get exactly our successes would be the combination n over r that's an r times the probability of success and the probability of success was called p success probability k 
can I spell this? Probability. I'm not sure that's correct. Oh, well, anyway. So that would be um, times P. And how many times did we have P? Well, we have had it two times here. So we'll have it R times here, the number of successes, times the, the probability of failure. And the probability of failure was 1 minus P. And that would be to the power N minus R. In the case here, it would be to the power 3. So this is a general, general expression for how to calculate this type of questions. And this is called, um, the whole thing is called a binomial distribution or a binomial experiment. Just for the sake of the, for the calculator, there is an even easier way to, uh, to find it. So if you use the calculator, again, you go menu. This time we go distributions, and here in the distributions, we should choose the binomial PDF. And here we are asked for the number of trials, n, that was in our case five, and the number of successes, that was two. Oh, sorry, that's the probability of success, that was point one. And the x value is the number of successes, so that's two. So we press OK here, we get 0 0.0729. So that was what we would expect. So binomial PDF is, is what we use in the, in the Inspire. PDF. The final comment is um, that that the random variable x here, we say that the random variable x is binomially distributed, and we write it like this, x is binomially distributed with the parameters n, comma, p, where n is the number of trials and p is the probability of success. So in our case, x has the parameters 5 and 0 0.1.